All right, ready? All right, we are between two Yetis with Bert from IGY. How are you, sir? What's up, Zach? Oh, Good sir. to see you. It is day five and the last day of the show. Yes, it is. Is this the only boat show you do that doesn't go on to the Monday? Uh, that is totally correct. Uh, we will be, uh, we're the largest marine presenter at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show in yep. November. And we'll also be in Monaco this year. So oh, we're pretty excited. So we've got a... Uh, we've got a three-show roster, and of course the other shows that we'll be attending, uh, just from a representational basis, will be throughout the year in St. Thomas and Cabo and so forth. Very cool. So just a little bit about IGY. Yeah. What are you guys? Oh, thank you. That's a pretty <laughs> good question, Zach. Uh, IGY Marinas is the largest international marina network in the world. We have 15 wow. marinas, of which seven we own, and the other balance of our marina, the other eight marinas, we either have a lease, management, or marketing arrangement with those marinas. So we are the Ritz-Carlton uh, model for marinas, um, as Ritz-Carlton is to hotels. Interesting. The largest in the world? Yes. That which means we operate in the most countries. Um, I'll suffice that from a marketing standpoint to say one of. Right. Um, but there are larger marina companies. Yeah. We just have a unique business model where we are the largest present, one of the largest uh, marinas throughout the world because we operate in seven different countries. So Colombia, Mexico, Panama, United States, uh, St. Martin, St. Lucia. Uh, that's where we really strike out for a transient base yep. client, but also annual seasonal. So we have four target markets, Sport First Sale, Mega Yacht, and Cruise. Right. And we have about 3,000 slips under management, of which 300 are for vessels over 80 feet. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Hard work. We have about 500 employees that make it all happen. And we are trying to, um, we're creating brand standards that elevate the marina experience. Interesting. So when someone becomes a member, you, they obviously become a member of IGY. And that's a good question, Zach. There is no membership. Oh. The network, it's, it's like asking if you're a part of Hilton, are you a member? We, what we have is a simple network that is based on brand standards, not on buying into a membership or otherwise. So anyone can come to our marinas. Oh, interesting. Yes. I mean, I've been to a couple of your marinas in St. Martin. They're, uh, they're beautiful. Yes, thank you very much. That's yeah. Al de Sol and, uh, uh, and Simpson Bay Marina. That's it. And just to put a smile on your face, Aldo Sol won 2016 Super Yacht Marina of the Year. Very well done. Yes, thank you very much. Very proud. And your position in IGY is the big cheese? No, I actually wash the windows. Uh, <laughs> I, I wash the windows, but uh, on the business card it says VP of Marketing and Sales. Very cool, very thank cool. Thank you. Yeah. But one more thing just before we finish. Uh, yeah. What about large boats? Zach. What happens then? Here's the way the industry's running. There are about uh, 8,000 vessels in the world over 80 feet. Okay. And uh, what's exciting is the market's growing at about um, over 80 feet, about 200 approximately. Now these are approximate numbers, mm -hmm. over 200 feet. What's exciting for IGY is we are honing in on a specific market over 200 feet. And one of the largest private vessels made is now up to 700 feet. So, yes, sir. One, of the couple, uh, one, of, one really big news that we'd like to just get out to the market is One Island Park, Miami Beach. That facility is able to hold a vessel with unlimited depth up to 700 feet. Unlimited depth? Well, pretty much in regards to, if you've got a 700 feet yeah. vessel, the depth is pretty deep. Absolutely. So there are no depth restrictions and you don't need notice by the Coast Guard for their protocol of 96 hours notice. So we have an ultimate super yacht destination in Miami Beach now, One Island Park, wow. and it's just a real great catalyst. And further to that, our other marinas, Yacht Haven Grand and St. Thomas, can take vessels up to 700 feet, and we're looking at expanding Cabo they also take vessels up to 500 feet. So the game is going bigger. We're not forgetting our smaller vessel market. We're just trying to create those spaces because if you build it, that no, not necessarily they'll come, but if you build it to the right size, they'll know that we created specific destinations for vessels of that size. So Miami Beach, One Island Park, we're pretty excited. Do you find that super yachts of that size are gonna start coming back to the States? Because you don't see them all the time here as compared to like in Europe. Yeah, and 70% of the vessels um, of the wider, 70% of, of the vessels over 80 feet they stay in the med. Yeah. We're talking about 30% actually move or stay in other destinations under the med. Yeah. So if we can create a real good strategically designed base for these customers, they will make it over, but it's just like you going to the movies or otherwise, they need to feel welcome. Absolutely. They need to know the facilities are there, the gray water, the, the fuel, and that's what we're doing at IGY. And one of our best spots, Miami Beach for it. Interesting. Um, could we maybe come and do a video down there at the new marina? You mean you're not coming down already? I expect well, you guys there. Well, we are, but uh, if we can get your permission. Be <laughs> <laughs> well, the, Gilly Wanowich is the manager. He's a fantastic individual okay. and a great manager. So I'll make sure to set it up and we would love to have you down there. Perfect. One Island Park, Miami Beach. Thank you very much, Bert. See you there. See you next time. Take care.
<laughs> All right, we are between two yetis with John Mitchell from Tito's fishing team. How are you doing, John? Outstanding, and yourself? You are actually one of my favourite fishing teams. That's what I like to hear. But I tell that to all my fishing teams. Yes, you should. Absolutely. But you are, are you the most successful fishing team? Oh, uh, there are so many different uh, teams that are very successful, so it, we just love doing what we're doing. 